Uh, thank you, Chairman, uh, for your kind introduction. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my honor to be here to present uh, this uh, symposium in SAGES uh, 2016. I'll talk about this uh, pancreas uh, uroendocrine tumor in the aspect of treatment. I have nothing to disclose. The actually, pancreatic uroendocrine tumor, PNAS, PNAS is a rare neoplasm. And the its instance is 2 to 4 percent of all pancreatic tumors. The most of the PNAS are sporadic. It associates with MEN ones in the 10 to 30 percent. PNAS can be classified into functioning and non-functioning PNAS. The functioning PNAS usually uh, only detected due to hormone-related symptoms. Non-functioning uh, PNAS that accounts for 60 to 90 percent of all PNAS. Uh, it usually diagnoses at more advanced stages. However, recently there is an increase of instance and prevalence of PNAS due to increased incidental detection and increased awareness and recognition. This slide shows uh, the pathology classification and AJCC staging system of PNAS. According to WHO classification, the PNAS can be classified into the three grades. Low and intermediate grade to PNAS is considered as a well differentiated PNAS. The high grade is uh, PNAS considered as uroendocrine carcinoma. The AJCC staging system of PNAS is the same. Uh, as that of the pancreatic doctor adenocarcinoma. Before this uh, talking about the main topics, I'd like to briefly this, uh, present our 10 experience uh, about treatment of PNAT. We treated is a 46 patient for 10 years, almost half a patient, half a patient had small tumor less than two centimeter According to WHO classification, all patients, uh, most of patients had uh, PNAT grade one and grade two. According to T staging, compared to Dr. Adenocarcinoma, more patients had T1 and T2 uh, staging. Lymph node metastasis developed in about 10%. Laparoscopic surgery, more frequently performed, the most common approach procedure this type of pancreatectomy. In case of open surgery, most common procedure was uh, pancreatinectomy. After there is um, a mean follow-up of uh, about is uh, 15 months, five-year overall survival rate is more than 90 percent, and five-year disease-free survival rate about is uh, 85 percent. Five patients experienced recurrence. As you can see here, the among five patients, three patients died due to recurrence. The two patients had uroendocrine carcinoma. But the first two patients with PNAS grade one and grade two, they uh, alive for a long time, even after the recurrence. Uh, these results suggest that the it's a uroendocrine tumor grade one and grade two is slow growing and have indolent biologic behavior even after recurrence. I'd like it is a case presentation of two patients uh, who had is a metastasis at the diagnosis, uh, at the time of the diagnosis. Uh, the first patient had instantly detected pancreatic tumor. The previous CT showed 16 centimeter size pancreatic mass with the suspicious multiple liver metastasis involving both lobes. This patient underwent laparoscopic soft total disappointment and biopsy for liver mass. Biopsy the confirmed metastatic adenocarcinoma. Final pathology diagnosis was a PNAT grade one with a liver metastasis. This patient is alive for 15 months after surgery. There's no interval change in extent of multiple liver metastasis uh, shown in this figure. 
The second patient uh, also had uh, instant detected pancreatic mass. Previous CT showed two centimeter tumor with a central calcification at pancreas unsni prostate in the left figure. And this uh, suspicious single liver metastasis is suspected in preoperatively. This patient underwent PPPD and tumorectomy for liver mass. Final postoperative pathology diagnosis was PNAT grade two with liver metastasis. This patient alive with recurrence for 30, uh, minutes, uh, th 30 months after surgery. Uh, this result is just is uh, interrupted the behavior of this uh, uh, metastasis in patient who was grade one and grade two. Interesting finding from our experience is that increased uh, uh, rate of the prevalence rate of the non-functioning PNAT and more the frequent uh, application of laparoscopic surgery and is uh, some uh, beneficial role uh, of surgery in patient uh, liver metastasis PNAT patient. Uh, based on our experience, I will limit my talk to treatment for small PNAT and laparoscopic surgery for PNAT and treatment for metastatic PNAT. First, I will talk about treatment for small PNAT. How small is small? These are several of these consensus guidelines study group is suggested is the size criteria, two centimeter, one centimeter, 1.5 centimeter, three, four centimeter. This slide shows uh, the correlation of tumor size with malignancy rate in functioning, uh, non-functioning pancreatic urinary tumor. As you can see here, as the tumor size increased, the malignancy rate is accordingly increased. This figure showed the survival difference according to the tumor size. The patient with this uh, large tumor, larger than four centimeter, had a poor survival. There is a big controversy over the treatment for small, non-functioning, or symptomatic PNAS the between the observation and surgical section. Uh, this is a representative study advocating observation for small penis. This study compared to non-operation group and operation group. When you take a look at uh, this table, in non-operative group, there was no recurrence, no patient died or from disease. This result, they suggest uh, the potential of selected small non-functioning penis. However, several the study showed small PNAT can be malignant. Uh, left to the figure showed that uh, malignancy rate in patient with less than two centimeter, about 7%. And another study showed that among 40 patients with the patient with the tumors uh, size between one and two centimeter, the two, uh, two patient had Euroendocrine carcinoma, the metastasis is present in four patients, liver metastasis three patients, two patients died of disease progression. Based on this result, li listen to this NCSN guideline that limit the criteria of observation to this uh, incidentally detected very small tumor less than one centimeter. However, this guideline command that decision should be based on estimated surgical risk, site of tumor, and patient comorbidities. How about extent of surgery for small penis? Inoculation and parenchyma sparing pancreatectomy is preferred for small and superficial tumors. Size threshold for inoculation is not clear at this time. Uh, inoculation is uh, showed a high cure rate, but the recurrence risk increased in patient with uh, MEN1. Standard resection performed for tumors, deeply located tumor, a large tumor, and is any the suspicious malignant tumor. Lymph node metastasis is reported to range from is seven, uh, from seven to is 26%. Despite the controversy over the prognostic, uh, the significance of lymph node metastasis, NCCN guideline recommend lymph node dissection for penis between one and two centimeters in size. 
this uh, slide shows the system in review. is of uh, inoculation versus the standard is resection for small peanuts. This study evaluated 13 study, including more than 1,100 patients undergoing inoculation. It, uh, compared to, to the standardized resection, inoculation had shorter upper time, less blood loss, but similar mortality complication rate. However, the rate of pancreatic fistula, including all grades, higher than standardized resection. In terms of long-term outcome, the PNET uh, had lower uh, rates of endocrine, exocrine insufficiency. The fibrous survival rate is, was similar between the inoculation and standardized resection. Next, I talk about local surgery for PNET. Laparoscopic resection for, uh, uh, for the specific treatment of ILS tumor was first reported by Gagnon in 1996. Twelve patients were treated by laparoscopic inoculation and eight distal punctatectomy. At the time, open conversion was required in four patients. The most common indication of laparoscopic surgery at this time is uh, pancreatic insulinoma. Uh, this is a system review that evaluated the seven observation studies, including about these 450 patients. Uh, 120 of the patients underwent laparoscopic surgery. Conversion to open surgery required uh, in, uh, from uh, zero to this 40% uh, uh, of patients. The most common cause was inability to locate the tumor. Another reason include the deblocation and closeness pedoctal vessels. The laparoscopic surgery is uh, showed its uh, similar mortality morbidity over time for the fistula compared to this open surgery. The laparoscopic surgery showed this comparable cure uh, rate, uh, but the reason for recurrent uh, hypoglycemia included uh, no localization at the first operation and nested blastosis and metachronous insulinoma. This uh, slide shows uh, is a system review uh, of laparoscopy versus open pancreatic resection for pancreatic uroendocrine tumor. This uh, study evaluated 11 comparative studies, including about these 900 patients. As you can see here, most of the uh, retrospective study, the most is uh, indication is insulinoma, there is a but number of patients is so small. Uh, this, uh, although this, the level, evidence level is low, this, uh, this uh, system review showed that laparoscopic surgery associated this with lower complication rate, lower blood loss, shorter length of hospital stay, but uh, it had similar pancreatic fistula over time mortality compared to open surgery. This slide shows is a long-term outcome of laparoscopic surgery for PNET. The, this study evaluated 65 patients who underwent laparoscopic resection. The most common procedure was uh, screen, pre uh, screen preserving or sacrificing this appendectomy. According to the WH classification, all patients had grade one and grade two. There's no data about uroendocrine carcinoma. The five-year survival rate is uh, uh, 90 percent. Principal factors include T and R stage. KI, the 67 uh, level. Uh, this result is suggests that there is uh, laparoscopic surgery can be uh, uh, safely performed, at least in patient the PNAS uh, grade one and grade two. Lastly, uh, I talk about treatment for metastatic penis. The instance of met liver metastasis is up to the 60 percent in PNAS. Therefore, the non-operative treatments is uh, frequently applied. Load of surgery is not clear at this time. However, lesson two is uh, uh, this, uh, several studies show this uh, uh, potential benefit of the surgery. In case of potential result of liver metastasis, resection uh, of primary tumor and metastasis uh, is, can be performed if complete resection is possible. In case of extensive unresectable liver metastasis, the working operation can be performed to improve survival and reduce symptom. And if a symptom is occurred from primary tumor, the resection of primary tumor can be considered. Liver transplantation can be performed in selected patient. 
Synchronous resection of primary tumor liver metastasis is indicated if there is no this uh, extrahepatic environment and complete resection is possible. The morbidity mot uh, mortality is, uh, of this procedure is similar to resection of primary and liver metastasis alone. The several studies showed increased survival. The survival rate is uh, significantly higher than non-resection. The especially the favorable outcome shown in p uh, PNET with a well differential PNET. However, this free survival rate very low. Five year TCV free survival rate was 10%. But the recurrence is confined. Most uh, the recurrence are confined into river. The, these uh, metastases were amenable to embolization or ablation or repeated hepatectomy. So that's why these many patients live a long period uh, even after uh, recurrence. How about resection of primary tumor in the setting of unresectable liver metastasis? Potential benefit of this procedure to relieve hormona-related uh, and tumor-related symptom and increase survival, improving efficacy for the treatment by decreasing over tumor burden. This table shows this outcome of the published reports. This, uh, the study, two studies show the survival benefit of this resection of primary tumor. Finally, I talk about this indication of uh, liver transplantation. Currently, the is indication uh, not clear, but favorable outcome shown if patient has good performance status, there's no extrapolate environment, there is a well differentiated tumor exists in primary and liver metastasis, patient has stable uh, disease. The operative mortality, fiber survival rate is uh, like this. In, in summary, it is regarding small penis, surveillance may be reasonable in very small size tumor less than one centimeter. However, whenever in doubt about oncology safety, this section should be strongly considered. Laparoscopic surgery for well differential peanut does not compromise oncologic resection, that the benefits of minimal investments. However, the role of laparoscopy for uh, pancreatic uroendocrine carcinoma is yet to be clarified. Regarding liver metastasis, of PNAS, aggressive surgery for a selected patient with well different PNAS can be performed safely. And despite high controversy, resection of primary tumor or liver transplantation in the setting of unresectable metastasis may be beneficial in highly selected patient. Before they finish my presentation, I'd like all of you to uh, invite to the World Congress ISO 2016. Please attend this meeting and enjoy variety and program and Korean culture. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much.